The final week of the regular season begins with a couple Saturday games. The Kansas City Chiefs versus the Denver Broncos. While Denver is eliminated, they have one more audition out of Drew Locke to see if he belongs in their plans for 2022. The Chiefs are battling for the number one seed after losing to the Bengals last week. We asked you guys on social media, who do you guys feel like is going to win this game? Overwhelmingly, 90% favor the Chiefs, 10% like Stenver. We like the Chiefs to win by 16. Later that night, the Dallas Cowboys face the Philadelphia Eagles. While both teams have already clinched, they both are expected to play their starters. The Cowboys don't have anything to play for at this point as they're already locked in as the number four seed while the Eagles can clinch the sixth seed at best. Taking a look at the polls, you guys are favoring the Cowboys to win in this game, 76% versus 24% taking Philly. We like the Cowboys to win by seven. Sunday's action begins with a full slate of division games. The Green Bay Packers versus the Detroit Lions. The Packers are locked in as the number one seed, though Aaron Rodgers has stated that he would like to play this week. The Lions hope to have Jared Goff play one more game this season before making a decision on him in 2022. Taking a look at the polls, the Packers are favored to win in this one 88%, while the Lions are favored by 12% of you. We like the Packers to win by five. The Indianapolis Colts control their own fate as they are one win away against the Jacksonville Jaguars from making the postseason. If the Colts lose, they need the Chargers, Steelers, and the Dolphins to all win to secure their spot. At this point, the Jaguars are just playing for a good end to a disappointing season. If we look at the polls, 85% likes Indy to win in this game, 15% has taken Jacksonville. We like the Colts to win by 20. In their last game as the Washington football team, they will take on the New York Giants. Washington played tough all year, going on a four game winning streak at one point, but now currently are on a four game losing streak. The Giants passing game is absolutely awful, and there's no doubt that Joe Judge is playing for his job in this game, if the decision on his future hasn't already been made. Taking a look at the polls, 76% likes Washington to win, 24% is taking New York. We'd like Washington to win by 10. The Chicago Bears versus the Minnesota Vikings. Kirk Cousins has been activated off the COVID-19 list, but it's a little too late as they were eliminated from playoff contention last week with their loss to the Packers. Justin Fields will be inactive, meaning that Matt Nagy could either play Nick Foles or Andy Dalton in what could be Nagy's final game. And if we look at the polls, you guys are favoring the Vikings at home, 74% likes them, 26% is taking Chicago. Give us the Vikings in a close one to win by four. Win and you're the top team in the AFC. The Tennessee Titans versus the Houston Texans. Tennessee is the favorite, but let's not forget earlier this season, it was Tyrod Taylor and the Texans that upset the Titans. This time around, it's Davis Mills who started, who has played well enough to compete for the starting job in 2022. And if we look at the polls, Tennessee is favored to win in this game, 93% versus 7% taking Houston. We like Tennessee to win by 13. Potentially the last time we see Ben Roethlisberger on a football field. The Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Baltimore Ravens. The Steelers are hoping that statement is false, as they can clinch a playoff spot with a win and a Colts loss. The Ravens, however, need a lot more help. They make it with a win, Chargers loss, Colts loss, and a Dolphins loss. Is that all going to happen? Well, if we take a look at the polls, one of those is about to happen. 57% likes Baltimore to win, 43% likes Pittsburgh. Give us the Ravens to win by four. The battle of Ohio between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns. Joe Burrow has done so well the last two weeks that the Bengals will start Brandon Allen to give Burrow some rest before the playoffs. The Browns have shut down Baker Mayfield to close out their season, electing for him to undergo his long overdue shoulder surgery. And if we look at the polls, the Bengals are still favored to win even if they're going to rest their starters 80% like the Bengals, 20% like the Browns. Give us the Browns since the Bengals are resting their starters to win by four. The San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. It was the 49ers who won this battle earlier this season by running the ball effectively, and they need a win or a Saints loss to make the postseason. The Rams already have the playoffs on lock, but we'll use this week to see what they have in Cam Akers, who has made incredible progress in his recovery from a torn Achilles. 
And if you look at the polls, the Rams are favored to win in this one, 76% versus 24%, like the 49ers to sweep the series. We're taking the Rams to win by six. The Carolina Panthers and the rough season comes to a close against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Panthers started 3-0 and have only won two of their last 13 games. The Buccaneers, at best, can move up to the number two seed with a win and a Rams loss. Now the Bucs have to deal with the loss of Antonio Brown. And if we take a look at the Bulls, the Bucs are still favored to win in this one. 92% versus 8% likes Carolina. Give us Tampa Bay to win by 14. The Seattle Seahawks versus the Arizona Cardinals. Looks like Russell Wilson and the offense is back on track. But will this be the final game we see of Wilson in a Seahawks uniform? The Cardinals finally snapped their losing streak after a big win against the Cowboys and clinched the NFC West with a win and a loss by the Rams. Who's going to win in this one? Well, if we look at social media, 86% like the Cardinals to win, 14% are taking Seattle. We like the Cardinals to win in a close one by three. They faced the first week of the season, and now they face the last week of the season. The New England Patriots versus the Miami Dolphins. Unfortunately, not even a seven-game winning streak could save the Dolphins' season, as they were eliminated last week when they lost. The Patriots still have a shot at clinching the number one seed, but need to win, as well as a Bills loss, Titans loss, and a Chiefs loss. If you look at the polls, the Patriots are still favored to win in this one, 83% versus 17% likes Miami. Give us the Patriots to win by seven. The last grasp for the New Orleans Saints as they face the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta was eliminated last week, so this could very well be the last time we could see Matt Ryan as a Falcon. The Saints make the postseason with the win and a 49ers loss. They need a lot of things going for them, but do you believe that the Saints are going to make the postseason? Well, in this game, you feel like they're going to take care of half of it. They're going to win against the Atlanta Falcons 77% are favoring New Orleans. Give us the Saints to win by five. The New York Jets versus the Buffalo Bills. Despite the down year for the Jets, Zach Wilson has shown flashes of becoming a solid quarterback in the NFL one day. Bills clinched the AFC East with a win or a Patriots loss. And if we look at the polls, 90% like the Bills to win in this game, 10% like the Jets. Give us the Bills to win by 21. And finally, Sunday Night Football, the Los Angeles Chargers versus the Las Vegas Raiders. This more than likely will be a winner gets into the playoff scenario and the loser is out. But there is an outside shot that the Raiders could still make the playoffs even if they lose, but only if the Colts and the Steelers lose as well. If you look at the polls, 69 nice percent of you guys favor the Chargers to win in this game, 31% are taking the Raiders. Give us the Chargers to win by four.